How's it going ladies and gentlemen? In today's skills report, I'm going to be showing you how to collect every exotic in the game that's currently available the fastest way possible. It's going to be a quick little guide. I'm just going to show you where to get it, how to get it, and then boom, you can carry on, get it done, and move on to whatever is next. Following that, we're going to hop into um, where to see the patch notes, All right, where you can see them in full. I'm also going to talk a little bit about whether I think they made a difference in the current state of the game or not. All right, so we're gonna have that little segment. And then after that, we're gonna move into the progression system. Since I know a lot of people in the clan been wondering how I'm checking their stats and having the times for the time trial challenges that we've been having. And most players in general, you, you probably wanna know how you're playing the game. So I'm gonna show that part, break it down a little bit so everybody can have an understanding of how it works and where it is. All right, and then last but not least, we'll move into last week's clan challenge winner the results and this week's new clan challenge so let's go ahead and hop right on into it okay so first we're gonna start off with collecting every exotic weapon in the game the fastest way all right so this tutorial is gonna be a little fast so you might need to rewind maybe i don't know just do parts and it come back but i'm gonna try to make it quick all right, so first I want to show you, we're going to start with the blueprint exotics. All right, I'm going to do these in order, starting with the blueprints. And the reason I'm going to start with the blueprints is because first I want to show you that inside of the bases of operations at Washington, D.C., you can head in the direction that I'm heading, cut to your left, cut to your left again, and then there you'll find a crafting bench. All right, you want to make sure you max your bench out at 450, 490 before you craft. And if you are level 500 after you craft these blueprint items, they'll craft at 500. This is very important because you'll end up going through a big, big hassle if you craft them before the five. Um, well, I think four, they say they're going to round. So maybe 495, 497, it'll still be 500. But below that, it'll drop at 490. And then you'll have to repeat all of the steps again, in particular for the Liberty. All right, the chatterbox, it won't be necessary, but using the upgrade blueprint for the Liberty twice will make you have to rerun all of the missions again. All right, so that's something you want to avoid. And you can avoid that by getting to level 500 first and then going after the Liberty, you know, then crafting the actual Liberty blueprint and it'll give you a 500 pistol and save you that other runaround. Okay, so. This is where you'll craft that item. Now, another important part for the blueprints, for the people that may that think they might have picked some up already, the way that you check these is you go over to your resources, all right? Then you wanna hit the, the, this your blueprint symbol, or you can just scroll down and you'll see these little red, you know, these jewels, all right? And they, with the red, these tell you your exotic parts you got. This for my nemesis. So I can see exactly how many I got and what they are, all right? So in this list for the blueprint parts, I'll also be telling you that. So you can check in your menu where I'm showing you now and you'll see what you do or do not have. All right. So um, that's pretty much the intro interlude for that. So now we're going we're gonna to get to the to the tutorials. All right. Starting with the Liberty Pistol, um, which is probably one of the easiest ones. And it's pretty much guaranteed um, for you to be able to get it. Oh, sorry about that. That's the new the title update is live now so that's the classified missions i'll be posting some videos about those after i do them all right but for now for the d50 pistol i mean uh you definitely gonna need a d50 pistol so throughout this adventure while you're doing these particular missions to obtain the liberty make sure that you're looking for a d50 i have noticed that the d50 seemed to drop a lot on challenging on dcd headquarters and i had quite a few of them from there now so i would recommend that um if it gets to a point where you still haven't gotten it by the time you finish collecting these blueprint pieces. But keep an eye out for the D50 high end pistol because um, you will need that as a crafting piece for the Liberty. All right, now with that in mind, you're gonna just move on to first, you're gonna do Capitol Hill on story mode. This will give you the trigger mechanism. All right, you need the trigger mechanism first and this is what will activate the rest of the pieces to drop around the map. However, in the title update three, I think they've changed it now where, for example, say you don't have any pieces of the nemesis, which is another exotic weapon we'll get to a little bit later. If you run Washington Hotel today, even without the rest of the pieces, it'll still drop you um, the blueprint. You just won't have the rest of the pieces. All right. So you can go collect it now. You don't have to wait. And um, that's not 
in a, a step in the right direction in my opinion but i'm gonna cover all that in my next video um, where i'm gonna really give the true solution for the division two all right so make sure you check that video out all right that's gonna be a big one um so yeah you can still do other little missions maybe out of order now but i would still recommend following this order just to make it uh streamline you know to streamline it for you check your list see what you do have so the first piece you'll get from capitol hill running on story mode is the trigger mechanism you can just run it on straight story um by selecting it um you know what i better show that because um some people um keep asking about how to change this setting and so I just want to make sure that while you're doing this, you don't have any problems. All right. So I don't want you to have to keep repeating stuff. So just remember for Capitol Hill, um, this is how you get the trigger mechanism. You need to change the game back to story mode. In order to do that, you're going to go up to the, you got to find this. Okay. Where to tell you Capitol Hill stronghold. Now you can see all of them by holding F. You know, you see where it's like to tell you to push F, you hit F for mission options, then you pick story mode, double click it, then click replay, and then back out. All right, and now you'll see that it says story mode. All right, you need for it to tell you um, story mode to get it to drop the first try. All right, so that's what you're gonna do for the Capitol Hill building for the first part of the Liberty Pistol in order to get the trigger mechanism. Next, you're gonna move on to the American History Museum. These ones, I've, I've pretty much broke down important stuff before, so now we can just keep rolling, okay? I just wanna be clear about this so nobody have any trouble, all right? So now we're gonna move on to the American History Museum for the receiver and paint job. All right, so what you're gonna do, um, this is the American History Museum. This is the second mission you wanna do. Make sure that you set it to hard. All right, it's gonna be important. Just set it to hard. Once you get to the boss, you'll know when he drop you the piece because it'll be red. All right, and then once you pick up that glowing red piece, you will have another piece of the, the Liberty Pistol, okay? And once you have that other piece of the Liberty Pistol, um, you can move on from that mission. You don't need to finish it. Once you get it and they drop it, you can fast travel to the next mission, okay? That's important because not all of them at the end. Some of them, one or two of them is in the middle. All right, so once you pick up that exotic piece and you see it and it's red and you know that it's one of the parts you need, go ahead and carry on. Um, and again, the American Houston Museum be for the receiver and paint job. Next, you can move on to the Viewpoint Museum, okay? Uh, the Viewpoint Museum you can find here and you also going to run that on hard. Uh, up until the point where the boss drop you the next exotic piece for the Liberty Pistol. And that will be for the site rail all right and that's gonna be from the viewpoint museum next you're gonna do the space administration on hard and this will be the last one and this will also just to drop you everything this will drop you the grip tags and the blueprint then you can go back to where i showed you in the beginning of this to the washington base operations and craft um craft yourself the liberty pistol but again you only want to craft that liberty if if you're level 500 if you're not i will wait I will wait till I was level 500. It's not that dire. If you do do it the other route, it's going to be 490. And then what you'll have to do is go back through the whole story, all of the missions I just named again on story mode. And then it'll drop you one piece again at these same points. But you can do them all on story. You don't even have to do them on hard um, if, you, if you go that route. All right. And that's going to wrap it up um, for the Liberty Pistol. You will need that D50. I mentioned earlier, but that will wrap it up for the Liberty Pistol. You should be able to craft that now at the Washington Base Operation. Next, we're going to move on to the Chatterbox. All right. Now, the Chatterbox, the first piece you're going to want to get is the loaded canister. Now, it's a slight difference in the way that the Chatterbox is obtained since you need to open hyena crates. In the open hyena crates, you need hyena keys. To get hyena keys, in my previous video, I showed y'all how to get access to the Division 2 maps. Um, I'll put a tag for that video up at the top so you can click that and take you to that video. Um, if you, you know, if you need to see how you actually uh, obtain high in the keys, it's a map to show you exactly where you can go. But for the most part, this area here, these sewers, you want to go into the sewers, you open boxes on the sides of the walls. Um, and I know this, the reason I'm showing you this, this particular one is because this one normally be pretty loaded. Um, this, this one is okay. Uh, you know, pretty much just hitting sewers. 
you know this area anywhere that's a sewer you're gonna go down in the sewers you're gonna open boxes you will get keys all right however many you high in the keys pretty rare though so you probably get less of those than anything else but that is what you will need in order to obtain the chatter box so try to get yourself at least six keys i would say um and then i'm gonna tell you the places that they're most likely to drop for you the first try all right so you don't have to keep finding keys all right so for the loaded canister you're gonna want to do the Grand Washington Hotel okay you're gonna open the caches on the Grand Washington Hotel and this is where you will get the loaded canister which is the first part of the chatter box second part of the chatter box would be the creative mag which um, all of these are divided in districts okay so long as you open in caches within those districts it's a chance but certain places have a higher probability all right so um, for example, in the case of the first piece of the chatter box, the loaded canister, um, like I said, it is Grand Washington Hotel or any other cash that you can find in downtown East, which using again that Division 2 map that I showed y'all how to get access to before, um, it'll show you where all of the cash is at among the map. You just need to stick to the downtown East area in order to obtain the loaded canister. Okay, so that's for the first part of the chatter box. Second part of the chatter box will be the creative max. Which you can get from federal triangle do them in this order it's important all right so next you're gonna do the creative match which you can get in any cash and a part of federal triangle but what i found is that jefferson trade center has the highest probability of dropping that piece on the cash on a map all right so um each one hyena keys you're gonna need a lot of them or if you try to find a friend who got hyena keys because you're gonna want to try to open them on that map all right next the modified uh, mods you're gonna get from the judiciary square area all right and again that's gonna be from a high in the box and i highly recommend the police headquarters it's almost a guaranteed drop once you get to that cargo area it's like in the back before you go through the doors at the end of the parking garage um you definitely gonna hit that that's gonna probably be the first try as well and that is at, again police headquarters which um i show you is uh it's a side mission that's normally here okay but i didn't done it uh, oh no you can still do it again they're going to police headquarters just do the police headquarter mission side mission and boom it'll drop you the blueprint um and then once you have all of those pieces okay once you have them all you're gonna run bank headquarters all right uh you can turn it off of invaded so try to toggle off invaded if you can't just beat the mission and then once you beat the mission um it'll toggle off by itself and then you have to do it again all right and then you're gonna want to get that rfid card out of that second part you know you open the wall you get the yellow key pretty much everybody know it now um if y'all want me to show it let me know and then i mm, toss up another video for that or just come into the live stream and then i run the mission or something like that all right so um once you get the rfid key you'll go into the bank vault once you go into the bank vault you can open that door open that cache and that's where you'll get um the blueprint and everything else you need to craft the chatter box now you can go back to the washington base of operations and you can um again you know collect what i showed um earlier craft it at that bench and boom same thing applies it, now the thing about the chatter box is before it was coming at 490 where you would need to get the blueprint and then upgrade it to 500 which will require one more exotic piece so again now that they doing this wherever you if you craft that 500 the weapon to be 500 i again recommend trying to get your gear score to 500 before you craft a chatter box all right this to save you from having to go through the needing another exotic part to craft it all right so instead um you know just go ahead and wait all right and then once you 500 you can go ahead and craft that chatter box now the nemesis i did another video already on how to obtain the nemesis and i'll put a link for that up now you know a little title card the thing in the corner <laughs> you can click it and it take you to the video um but the thing about the nemesis like i said earlier in the video now you can pick get the pieces at any time so currently um you still gonna need to do title basin first though all right you can get the rest of them out of order but title basin you need to do first and you're gonna do the title basin like i show in that video the whole steps and then past that point now anytime it's a mission available which currently um it's only title basin uh i think actually 
Oh, and District Union Arena. Yeah, and that's another piece of the Nemesis. So you should do District Union Arena as well. But now you can do them out of order and it'll still drop you the pieces of the blueprint once you've activated the first one through Tidal Basin. Okay? So um, that'll be it for the Nemesis. And those are the last of the blueprint weapons. Okay? Those are the ones that you got to do these things to get the weapon. Um, then we'll move on to the droppable weapons, which uh, might take you more than one try, but eventually they will come. Alright, so for the Sweet Dreams, the highest rated place, DCD Headquarters, without a doubt. Alright, you're going to want to run DCD Head. We had somebody get that the first try. <laughs> it was pretty, wasn't me. It wasn't me. Uh, but anyway, DCD Headquarters, you can run it on hard. Um, and some people say challenging up your chances, but I don't really agree with this. I think running it on hard is the better bet, even though you can run it on challenging in about 14 to 16 minutes i would still say just run it on hard just make it easy on yourself and it, it eventually drop from killing the the last named enemy on the mission the boss all right so you want to just keep go ahead and run in dcd headquarters until you get to sweet dreams next will be for the merciless which the merciless you'll be able to obtain from doing jefferson all right the jefferson is the highest rated right now this is where most people end up getting it from jefferson but you can also do um the bank headquarters on hard all right you want to do it on hard minimum um and you can also try challenging to up your chances but again as i said i don't really see that to be the case when we did it on hard my my person in our group got it the first try all right that's another good method too trying to do it with, in groups of four with teams of four because then this way if another one of your partners already got it then they might be able to share it with you or something like that all right so just something to consider or you could do a solo but that's how you would get the merciless and then the last of the exotic weapons for the exotic segment of today uh, will be the lmg the pestilence all right and you'll get the pestilence currently um the known way is in the dark zone by killing named enemies but again the title update 3 was supposed to have to change something with the pestilence that now you won't you don't have to get it in the dark zone you're supposed to be able to get it in the light zone but since i haven't gotten one to drop yet i can't say exactly where you can get it within the light zone but it should be out there somewhere all right so um the guaranteed way okay is to go in the dark zone do some landmarks kill some named bosses and they drop you the lmg the pestilence and from what i understand it's pretty easy like uh, when people saying that thing dropping like the caduceus <laughs> dropping like the caduceus was in in the division uh in the dark zone in division two all right so if you want the lmg pestilence that's how you obtain it and with that being said except for with the new exception of the newest exotic which would be added with the raid that i haven't done yet you see i ain't even do the classified missions and that stuff yet but i'm about to get to it um you can go ahead collect all of those get your exotics out the way that is a quick and accurate guide all right so i hope i ain't moved too fast i know this is one nearly as detailed as my normal videos but i want this video to be a little quicker today so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next section which will be title update three patch notes let's go okay so now we're gonna move on into the title update three patch notes all right which again man this kind of stuff I know a lot of people make videos and try to pretend, you know, like just representing this stuff, but I feel like that's poor. I think it's better to show people where they can see it for themselves, where it all is, where you can go and read it and take your time. You know, you don't got to be stressed out watching a video for the patch notes. Um, so that's why I normally don't do those. All right. So instead, I'm going to show you where you can access them yourself, where you can see everything. You know, you can you can go through each one of them and, you know, pass judgment. All right. So um, this is the first page of patch notes, which is mostly just the more important patch notes, patch notes that people find to be a little more important. Uh, you know, to some of the content changes, normalization, PVP changes. You can see dark zone changes, conflict changes, you know, stuff like the UI. Um, they added an anti aliasing set. And it's a lot of little stuff in there like that all right and that'll be for that part of the patch notes now this will be the first link that i post down in the description so you can click it and go check out the patch notes for yourself um and also 
this other one, patch notes. This the full patch notes. This is a separate link. I'll put this one right below that one. And this one is a lot more detailed. All right, this one I have all of it pretty much. Operation Dark Hours, the new classified assignments, new apparel event, um, everything in this one. New achievements, trophies, accommodations, crafting, gear, icons, loot. All right, the missions, everything. So I'm gonna put the link for this one as well so you can check them out. Now, my opinion on updates, um, it's not helping the division. It's not helping. Um, I'm gonna put up another video, probably um, before this one, maybe even before this one, I'll put up that video. But I wanna get into what's the problem with the division and the true solution, like a real solution on how to fix it. And uh, I'm gonna hope that uh, this be another one because my last one seemed to have made an impact. I can see now that some adjustments being made. Uh, but I'm gonna try to get it to go all the way to game of the year status with my next video I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there And if y'all support the idea of course as usual upvote it drop a comment and I and I know they see it man They know I know what I'm talking about. All right, so um, Anyway, um, that's the patch notes my opinion on the patch notes uh, This ain't really gonna change anything, you know, like I mean it's cool that they're still trying to fix stuff and do things But you can go through the patch notes for yourself and you'll see that that stale feeling there's no still no real solution for that stale feeling in the patch notes and that's kind of for me a little disappointing to see all right all right so um that's gonna wrap it up for the patch notes again the links for this will be down in the description and we're gonna go ahead and move on to last week's clan challenge results and this week's new clan challenge Alright, so now it's time to get to the business. Alright, now we're going to start off with our new recruits. First of all, special shout out to C43. Um, another new member on the Xbox who I forgot to mention last week. Alright, so he was in last week um, and I missed him. That's I never do that, man. I apologize for that. Uh, and we'll get you back in the Discord when you're ready as well. Um, and now another new recruit for the PS4. Special shout out Mr. Glass too. Uh, welcome to the clan. Hope you enjoy your endeavors here as a DZE agent. Um, I noticed you coming in hot with 47 rogue actions taken, Mr. Glass. You might want to keep in mind that the number one rule of the DZE is no rogue actions taken. Alright, so a little bit later in the video, we're going to get to a new uh, particular and we'll revisit this topic again. Alright, so uh, last week's clan challenge. Um, what you were supposed to end up doing was DCD headquarters on challenging and the person with the fastest time won this week's $10 gift card. Alright, so um, with that being said, let's jump into the scores. What I'm going to do is get a top two uh, per, per platform. On PC, we had um, 28 minutes by Divide for Life and we had 31 minutes by Titan Cell. Those are the top two scores from the PC side. Uh, on Xbox, we had um, that guy 37 with 24 minutes, and we had Apex Panther with 16 minutes. All right, so those are the fastest two times for the Xbox. Um, and then moving on to the PS4, where you'll find our winner. We had AIO with 19 minutes, and this week's Clan Channel's winner, Inferno, with 15 minutes. So the fastest time on DCB Headquarters Challenger for the week was Inferno. Congratulations, Inferno. Uh, you'll be able to collect your $10 gift card um, for the PS4 or, you know, or whatever you find it for. You know, you know the rules. All right, so um, catch me during the live stream, and and that's for all winners. All right, you got to catch me in the live stream and the Discord at the same time. All right, this way we make sure everybody get their rewards, and it's recorded when you get it. All right, so uh, make sure that you're present for those. If you're wondering if you didn't want, because I know Apex Panther and Unit 5 Star Gen, y'all still haven't collected y'all's. I've been waiting for y'all. All right, so I'm just putting that out there. All right, so that's that's the clan challenge for the week. All right, now it's time for the dishonorable mentions. All right, we got a big one coming for Divide for Life with plus 20 rogue actions taken. 
All right, number two, we got Marshall 8 with plus three rogue actions taken over on the PS4. And then on the Xbox, we got Big Daddy Tomcat with plus one rogue actions taken. This is the first week I ever seen where we got a rogue action taken on every platform. And tell me that the boy's itching for some action. So in inclusion with this week's challenge, you will actually be able to get rogue actions this week freely all right there's no punishments no nothing for anybody that i did not name as a dishonorable mention so divide for life big daddy tomcat and march 108 all right y'all cannot get rogue actions rogue actions for y'all are result in consequences all right this is gonna be the first time um in particular divide for life you know big uh, big daddy tomcat this is your first one ever um I let you slide on this one. It's your first rogue action, period. You only got one, you know, compared to some other players. So just be careful with those. And the same, oh, Marshall 8, nah, you included. Uh, you got 52 already, plus them three. You got a 55 total. All right, so <laughs> to five for life uh, and March 108. No rogue actions for y'all for this week. All right, so the people who I didn't name, you can do rogue actions this week, so do whatever you got to do in the dark zone, whatever you want to do. It's free, no punishments. Uh, the only part of the challenge is the fastest time on Botanic Event Center, Event Center on Challenging. All right, that's all you really got to worry about. Um, and uh, yeah, again, um, that's going to wrap up uh, last week's Clan Challenge results and this week's Clan Challenge reward winners. Now, before. Um, I get out of here. I'm hopping to one more little segment where I'm going to show you all the breakdown for how to use the progression system and how it is that I'm keeping track of y'all scores. Okay, now for this last part, I'm just going to be showing you real quick how you work the progression system, you know, where I'm checking everybody's scores, where you can see the stats and you can even see the times that you run in for the DCD. Uh, for the different Potomac events center this week's challenge if you want to check your scores yourself um, I know people was having a hard time finding it and but pretty much you just come over here to progression and then in progression you will have collectibles commendations club challenges and leaderboards um, all of this is different stuff you might want to check this out if you haven't seen it before you got your footage and stuff and collectibles commendations is just how many different commendations you completed club challenges is just different challenges that you have to select and activate for them to be working all right so it's important to come click them activate it all right and then leaderboards now this is where you can find the stats and scores world will be stuff like control points capture headshot kills weak point kills you know some of these we've already had challenges all right and then you'll also have conflict all right where you can see the conflict scores mission um and uh, now in mission this is where you can find the times ran uh, for example potomac event center um, if you go to Tom Solo, um, you can see all these people, but you can change between clan, all, and friends. All right, so going to clan, n nobody ain't ran it yet, you know, so nobody ain't ran Potomac Event Center on the Solo Challenger, so there are no scores posted for it um, for the clan. Um, for group for the clan, Divide for Life and Titan Cell have ran um, the Potomac Event Center. All right, see, so this is how you can keep track. Um, of the scores the same and it'll be the same, you know um, For every challenge they all come from here uh, to a degree. We will have some that won't <laughs> All right, so you got rogue actions taken extractions completed um, Rogues defeated, you know rogue action taken is um, Pretty much how I'm keeping up with everybody's rogue actions across the board You see all's up there with 184, but he's been doing good, you know all's been doing good He had that many for quite some time now, so he probably gonna love this week being able to roam free <laughs> I'm I know his number gonna go up um, But yeah, so that's how you work the progression system to see the stats to see what I'm doing All right, that's how I'm doing it. That's pretty much how you win um, on my end, it's a lot more math involved where I just basically take track of the current score, subtract that from the score achieved this week, and that'll give me the number, you know, like instead of him 52 world kills, I know he got three because now he got 55 plus three. All right, you get it. All right, so um, if you want to check on your own stats, whether you're in the clan or not, um, that's how you get that done. And if you're interested in joining the clan to participate in our weekly clan challenges, um, 
feel free to check down in the description below where I have all of the details where you can contact me on any three of the platforms or you can join the Discord and let us know and we'll get you set up there. Alright, so if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe. And sorry about the length of the video. I told y'all this was going to be a long one. I, and I tried to talk fast and make it shorter too. So, uh, you know, I, I still hope it was useful and beneficial to y'all. Um, and of course, as always, I will catch you boys on the next one. Thank you.